Good morning guys and welcome to this week's video. I'm just finishing off doing my makeup and the last step for me is always concealer. This, I think this is probably my favourite concealer. Uh, this is the Hourglass in the shade Sepia. It's just brilliant. I have like weird under eye bags. Normally I feel like people's under eyes are hollow. Mine come out. So unless I conceal, I can really like see that shadow. I normally just buff it in with my fingers or just the same brush I use for my foundation. And then Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and my Zoeva Luxe Highlight Brush and press it in. And this is just the dream team. Put a little bit on my forehead and around my nose. And we are done. Does anyone else really hate the way their makeup looks when you first do it? Like for me, I've got to settle it in. It's got to like almost marinate for like a good hour or so until it looks right but anyway i am in such a good mood this morning as you can probably tell it is very sunny and lovely i'm also working with a brand i've wanted to work with for so long on this video i've worked with them a little bit over on my instagram but never on youtube so i'm just so excited and then the last reason i'm gonna wait for all of the sirens to go past something i won't miss we're pretty low to the ground in this um, temporary apartment and you can really hear the traffic. Oh yeah, the last reason I'm in a good mood is because I've made my first big purchase for the new place. I really want to invest in good key furniture pieces, just like how I invest in certain items of clothing. And I'm so excited for it to arrive. It's coming from... I think it's coming from sweden so yeah very excited about that but let's get into the video guys i'm so excited for this next part so on this part of the video i'm working with farfetch which i'm so happy about as i have used and loved them for years let me put this down because these are heavy i'm sure you all already know what farfetch is but they basically connect thousands and thousands of luxury items to customers from brands retailers boutiques all across the world and the reason i love them so much is their stock is always amazing they always have so many unique pieces the returns are really easy and there's also no um, import duties i also have a code with them which is so great so i will leave that on the screen and in the description down below i picked up three pieces and honestly i've had these in the apartment for a week and it's been killing me not to be able to use them so yeah let's get on with the unboxing first up are a pair of boots that i've had in mind for um, well over a year my friend jasmine has a very similar pair from a different brand and they're impossible to get hold of and i've mentioned it to you guys before but i'm so fussy when it comes to boots and i got this and i saw this pair from bash and they are perfect so let me show you um oh my god i just love them so much so they are a classic chelsea boot but the reason why for me these are different and the reason why i love them so much is they're not too chunky where my legs are quite like small i just think chunky boots do not suit me at all um and they have a really slim fit so so i think these are going to be great i haven't tried them on yet but yeah visually perfection so simple but just so well done the next item i picked up is from tote m now this is a brand i've been familiar with for a while but have never actually um purchased from i feel like they're a very classic brand but they still feel quite modern and again similar to the boots this is an item i've been looking for the perfect pair of for a long time i can't tell you guys the amount of orders i've made and I return because they're just not right. So these are definitely an investment piece. They are just a classic pair of black tailored trousers. I've tried these on already and the fit is so good. Nine times out of 10 I get things tailored but I do not need two of these at all. The quality is obviously amazing. It's got belt loops as well so you have the option for a belt. Pockets at the front, pockets at the back. Um, a seam going down the front. And these for me are they're just perfect because you can dress them up you can dress them down again something that you can have in your wardrobe for such a long time final thing i picked up is less of a staple and more of just something really nice to have in your wardrobe it's this beautiful cardigan this is from marge i think that's how you say it somebody correct me if i'm wrong um and i just love these kind of cardigans there's something so classic and elegant about them and obviously where a lot of my clothes are quite simple and plain sometimes i think it's nice to add a little bit of detail somewhere now online i didn't realize but these gold bits here are actually a metal kind of like chain almost i thought it was just the material but yeah i really feel like that adds just something extra special to it and then the buttons are poppers as well so um, you can just pop them open which makes it a lot easier I've just tried on the totem trousers with a plain black top so you can see it properly um, but just look do you know what I mean about the fit it is 
just perfect. I really love how it comes out of the waist slightly, giving a bit of shape, and then it really does like taper in. That's just, for me, that's how I want tailor trousers to look like. I love the fact they have pockets, and yeah, the seam down the front is very prominent as well, which is great. Um, and then at the ankle, I've actually rolled it up once because I think it's nice to show the ankle with these shoes. But yeah, so happy with these ones. And if you wanted something a bit more wide, the Frankie Shop, I think they're called the B trousers. Um, they are also on my list. They are just a bit wider though, um, which is why I opted for these ones instead. If they have these in any other colors, I'm definitely gonna order them, but I feel like they only have them in black. And for size reference, I wear these in a 32. Okay guys, do you know what? As an outfit, I actually don't think this works completely, so I'm gonna try it on with something else. Okay, so this definitely works a lot better, and the tailored trousers with such a classic cardigan, it just felt a bit like old almost. I've just paired it with some skinny leather trousers, and this definitely works a lot better. And then here are the boots as well, but we'll start off with the cardigan. I definitely need like something here, like a nice like chunky gold necklace. It feels quite empty. You could also wear something underneath this, like a top. So I wear this in a size 32. I don't know if I'd want to go up a size or not. Like this fits perfectly if you want it to be true to size, but I kind of like things oversized as you guys know. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I size up or is this good? But yeah, the detailing on this jacket is just so stunning. And then these boots are honestly just they're so flattering, I love them. I love how they have a bit of a pointy toe as well because for me that just always suits me far better. So overall, a very successful little Farfetch haul. I'll put my code on the screen again and um, yeah, massive, massive shout out for Farfetch for wanting to work with me. Good morning guys and happy it's Thursday today. Um, I am just ready for the day. I'm with Grace and we are off to go take some photos, grab some coffee. The amount of bags we're taking with us is a an actual joke. We're ready, so let's go. Ow. <gasps> I don't know, like, should we like stop and shoot here? Just driving to Notting Hill. Well, we're there now, actually. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. It looks so There's so pathetic. many like leaves on the floor. But yeah, it's just beautiful. It's actually not the nicest day, but that's all right. Um, so yeah, we're driving to the first location to shoot in. Ooh. Wow. I've been a terrible vlogger as always. I feel like when I'm shooting, I'm just in the zone, I forget. Um, but I'm just on the last outfit, which is this really gorgeous blazer from Odd Muse. They sent it to me really kindly. Um, so yeah, it's kind of actually dark. It's only, what's it on, like three o'clock? Mm, um, and it's very dark so yeah we need to quickly do this and then home for hot chocolate okay the vibe was just off for the last photo i don't know why um i'm about to go get my seatbelt then but um what would i say i've got a little bit flustered today i don't know what's wrong with me code is 61 if you knock good evening guys that's our chinese he's home from turkey she's been away Woo! all week and it's been, I feel like you've been gone for about two weeks. I feel like we've been for about two years. Oh, I haven't had a great afternoon, guys, which is why I look not nice. Um, I had some news, and I'll talk about it later, but um, I cried a lot, and then I thought, I don't want to do this, let's restart the day. So then I napped um, for a few hours, and now my day's better, because Bee's home. And... No, no one's died. It's fine, it's just stuff to do with this house. Um, and we've got the very difficult decision. Do we watch the new Lindsay film? She's looking very good. How old is she now? I don't know. Literally, not a day over Freaky Fridays. Yeah. Or do we carry on watching Gilmore Girls? Oh, such a hard choice. I think, I think Gilmore Girls. Yeah. I'm happy with Gilmore. Okay. We got a fortune cookie. Yeah. Which one do you want? <gasps> this one! Oh, it's very precarious. Okay. Okay. We need, we need these today. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, it's Friday. Oh my god, it's Friday as well. Oh, they're warm. Ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, ready? Are we going to swap bodies? Oh, you will discover your hidden talents. 
<laughs> Mine is a dear friend is thinking of you. Oh, I always think about you. I know. I knew that. <laughs> well, do you know what? Good vibes only. Good vibes only. Yeah, it meant like we were, we had to postpone the day. We didn't get as much work done. Like, oh, that's so annoying. Oh, it was the movie next week. So I'm making a real mess. So sorry. Oh, broccoli. Broccoli. Oh no, she just using my fingers. So. That's fine. Come in, Munchkin head. He's got a little ball. If you want to give it to him. Ball. It's a ball on the piano. <gasps> Oh, the way he sprints after what is you. It? What is this? Wow. He's been trying to get that all day. Oh, little monkey. Oh, we never get Chinese. This is really exciting. We never got a Chinese together, Bob. No. What? I'm going to do my washing after dinner. So we have got spring rolls, goyozas, bean curd noodles good morning guys and happy saturday b and i are about to go out for some lunch here's my outfit all white and cream got this knit on from mango h&m jeans my little uggies and vintage chanel very relaxed little opal pants and b's also looking cute um, so we've just arrived at a little breakfast spot. We're at the Colbert in Chelsea. Um, trying to decide what to have. I'm thinking of eggs, Florentine maybe. Um, what are you thinking, B? Truffle Jerusalem artichoke. Stunning. This is such a nice little people watching spot and dog watching spot as well. Really nice view. It's very, it feels very Parisian. But we've got a warm mini baguette. How cute is this? And obviously had to get an English breakfast tea. It even came with some biscuits, that's made me very happy. Isn't it like the perfect autumnal day today? It's, it's like so nice. not too cold, cold enough to wear a knit. It's just lovely. Can we go to the food court? Yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in Laura Piana, lusting over all of the clothes. I want to get everything. I want some shoes. And Bee's sat behind me laughing because she hates them. I hate them. She thinks that these are something her granny would wear, which to be fair, I don't disagree with. However, granny chic. No, this is beyond granny chic. <laughs> <laughs> this is just granny. I really like them. We've even got little bunny beds. <laughs> oh, it's just so beautifully. Look, look how extra this water as well. Melon. They're like cucumbers and melons. What the hell? I think they're nice. Should we get some? I don't know. Eight pounds. <laughs> Maybe not. I think I'm going for granny because I saw a granny earlier <laughs> wearing these and I loved them. I think they're really nice. They're from um, Todd's. Do you like them, B? All right. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is bright and early on a Monday morning. So I'm on the way to the new flat. Still haven't got the keys. Um, and I just wanted to, I was actually going to get the tube um, to the new place. But I thought if I get the tube, I won't be able to sit and catch up with you lovely lot. So uh, that's why I'm driving. Also, driving in the winter is such a luxury. Um, heat seats on, listen to my favorite music. At the moment, I'm really into like old school music. Like I'm loving Elvis Presley, which is so random. It just, I don't know, there's something really comforting about his music, I find. So yeah, I thought it'd be really nice to have a proper catch up, give you guys a bit of an explanation to kind of why I've been so terrible at vlogging. There's two reasons. One, I haven't been in the best headspace. Like, I'm not exactly anxious and I'm not feeling like down. I'm just feeling really like, just a bit meh. Um, and the second reason is that I really haven't had anything to vlog for you guys. Like, my life has kind of been on pause recently because I've kind of been waiting for the keys and they're, the developers have really, really messed me around. Um, um, I know I said to you guys that I managed to kind of get through to somebody who's a bit more in charge and he's kind of been looking after me a little bit. But even so, 
I'm still getting messed around. And I think the really, really frustrating thing, the thing I'm finding the most difficult is the uncertainty and they're not helping with that at all. So like, um, I understand that, you know, these things take time, these things get delays and that's sometimes out of people's control. But what I'm finding really hard is that they are telling me one thing and then doing another thing. And for example, last week, no, the week before they were like, we're gonna get the keys. Um, early on in the week, we're gonna, we literally just wanna get you in the flat. Um, anything to do with snagging and everything, we'll sort out afterwards, don't worry, we'll look after you. I was like, oh my God, amazing, great. So early on in the week, I was like, right, I'm gonna get all my work out of the way. So when we do move later in the week, I'm completely ready later in the week comes and he's like okay it could be tomorrow and i'm like okay great so we sorted a move-in van for saturday um sorted out all like the things we needed to do to move out blah, blah blah and then it gets to thursday and he's like we still haven't got the right papers that we need even though they told me they had them honestly i'm going to cut the story short because it's incredibly boring but it's basically that times 10 just going backwards and forwards okay it's gonna be tomorrow no it's not tomorrow it's gonna be tomorrow no it's not tomorrow they've literally had me wrapped around their finger and i've just been like tentatively waiting and it's also just really like disappointing as well because like, i get kind of excited like i've learned not to get excited but when somebody says oh we're definitely going to get the keys by friday you're gonna get excited so then i get really excited and then like so last minute they let me down like i found out i had the movie booked for saturday i found out late friday afternoon that it wasn't going to happen so i then had to cancel the moving van all of this stuff and i'm just so like in limbo at the moment so that's what i was talking about on friday when i was like i had some bad news and i just napped um that's what i was speaking about it's, it's a new week um i'm going to the flat now because um, I've actually got a really exciting design meeting with the carpenters I'm using and Carla Webster who I've mentioned before on this channel and um, she's designing the wardrobes so yeah we've just got a little meeting about like samples and how we're going to do things we're going to measure everything up I'm going into this week with a different mindset I'm just thinking I'm never going to get the keys at this point so I'm just gonna just gonna roll with the punches see how it all goes I'm not going to get upset. If I get them, great. If I don't, whatever. Uh, I'm trying to think of something more positive to tell you guys. Um, I, when I visited the flat earlier this week and I met this guy, um, he was obviously very apologetic for everything that's happened and the way that I've kind of been treated in this situation. So he is trying to rectify it as much as possible. So they said that they would pay for the floor to be refitted. Well, not refitted, but put on top of the current floor. So that's a positive. Um, he also said he was like going to sort out some other things that I wasn't happy with entirely like the wall he said he'd pay for that to be done and he also said basically there's this really weird like door in my bedroom <laughs> that's just there for no reason like it's they they've kind of put in another room to extend the bedroom so the master bedroom was like two rooms it's kind of strange and I was going to have the second room as like an office it's not even a room it's like very small um but like it's just very unnecessary like you may as well just have one massive bedroom so i'm getting them to take out that door and have like one big room instead of like two rooms so little things like that are a positive they are helping me out a little bit tivoli this is the same as perry's mm -hmm. and what we've just done so it's got it's got a bit of a, it's heavy got a grain. nice grain to it really nice or, ashy color yeah or we've got we on one side we went on this on the smoother side mm -hmm. okay yeah it's just really you can see you can still see the colouring, mm. but it's just a bit softer. Yeah. But you've got that choice, so. I like the green. Oh, it all looks so nice together. It's nice with the lighting, isn't it? Mm. As well. That's just adding that extra bit rather than mm. just a, a plain wood everywhere. Yeah. I think, I think. Contrast. These are the ones that we think we're going to go for. I've got like this really nice texture. It's like, what would you say? It's like a linen then? Yeah, it's like a linen effect. Yeah. Um, and then this wood on the inside of the wardrobe. And then this as the. Take this one away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then this um for the metal details okay i'm home i've done my hair i've done my makeup feeling a little bit more camera ready now the design meeting went really well it was so nice to meet carla and richard i followed them both for years on instagram and they're both just brilliant so professional know what they're talking about i feel like i'm in good hands and my wardrobe project was like one of my main focuses for moving in because my wardrobe is kind of like my 
office and my studio and it's got such a it's such like a central part of my job weirdly so it's something i really wanted to get right and had to kind of make some choices today after looking at the samples and everything and it was so hard to choose i was a bit overwhelmed um i think what i'm gonna go for i'm gonna put some images on the screen so you can have a bit of a visual but i think what would be really nice is wood inside and then white on the outside and all open plan i was gonna have doors originally but then i kind of think because it's a small room like too many doors will just be a bit awkward the only thing is it means i have to keep everything like nice and organized and tidy at all times otherwise it will just be messy but yeah let me know your thoughts what do you think of this oh and with this one as well the accents will be all like a nice brushed brassy gold material so like the rails the the little knobs and everything like that or the second option is to kind of just go really simple and clean and all white because obviously it's going to be busy anyway because there'll be lots of clothes lots of bags lots of shoes so so it doesn't matter if it is quite minimal but then is that really boring i don't know i'm leaning more towards the first option but let me know what you guys think so hopefully these are going to get fitted end of february and honestly it was just so nice to spend some time in the flat and it really felt cozy and homely because they put the underfloor heating on and it really just yeah it felt it felt really nice i know much in this morning that i'm trying to like change my mindset with this whole process and i was thinking about it more um in the car home and i was thinking whenever somebody asks me for advice and they're like anxious about something something i always say is just trust the timing of the universe things happen at the exact right time you shouldn't have to force things you shouldn't have to make things happen um if it's meant to be or be and i have completely neglected my own advice for the last like month or whatever obviously you need to be proactive and make things happen the amount of anxiety that has caused me when actually this is probably happening for a very good reason ever since i thought that i've just been reminding myself over and over again every time i feel a little bit funny i remind myself the universe has perfect timing on that note no more stressing everything will be fine and if there's anything that you're currently going through remind yourself that things happen for a reason the universe always has your back and even when things aren't so great i think in the future you can always look back at these things and work out maybe what they taught you and why they happened anyway guys i'm gonna wrap this vlog up here i really hope you enjoyed it despite it being a little bit disjointed but it's just life and i'm trying to keep things real for you all and yeah i'm wishing you all a lovely rest of your week i love you all so 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 much bye Mwah.